Guys, you remember when Astra was $19 a share? What about $13 a share, $15 a share? Well, now it's $2.14 a share. I made a promise with you guys. I don't want to sell this until 2025 minimum, unless something drastically happens in a negative way with the company and I lose hope. I don't want to sell this. This is not financial advice, obviously. <laughs> oh my God. Currently down negative $465,000. Pays to be dead inside. <laughs> but it's been a while since Astra had their last launch. It looks like it was around November 21st. Uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram at dead inside. But today we are waiting for Astra's next launch. And while I was waiting, I was thinking about something. So two things need to happen for shareholders to be happy with Astra. Maybe three things. First thing is they can't run out of cash. Okay, they need to survive. I've given a lot of examples about the dot-com crash where pets.com crashed, I think, etoys.com folded. Like these companies didn't do well and it made sense. It's like, oh, pets, yeah, everyone has a pet. Oh, toys, yeah, kids are gonna like toys forever. Well, hey, shareholders are no more. And so with Astra, they need to have enough cash. Besides that, two things need to happen. One, Astra needs to be correct with their projections. Daily launches by 2025, weekly by 2024, bi-weekly by 2023. The second thing is that these rockets need to be successful. They need to get from point A to point B successfully, obviously. And the more they launch, the more they learn, the more they fail, the more they learn. But the share price being so low, I don't know how much room they have for failure. Again, guys, if I didn't make this promise with you, fun fact, if you would have bought Astra last year at this time, you would have sold it by now. So in my past videos of showing the stock price with the launch, that was pretty cool. But a lot of people were saying, hey, why don't you have a stop loss? Great question. Because I'm not trading it. I told you I made the promise saying I'm going to hold this. Guys, you don't realize how bad I regret saying that. Still holding for an update, uh, hoping for another recycle still. In the meantime, we do have some more questions coming in. So uh, first off, Amanda, how much thrust does Rocket 3 have and what's the thrust weight ratio? Uh, yeah, so the overall thrust... That's of cool, man. I like how people are interested in the thrust ratio, etc. I'm just curious about when moon. Uh, component, not cool, because you can see only the liquid oxygen right. tank is right. right. we do have Yep, no, the, the uh, uh, kerosene so, uh, is not weather. cool. That is that as well, but have it. 10, water on. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Did you hear them? They said, yeah, oh, yeah. But the only regret I have is not somehow recording my heart. I'm gonna pull my neck. Five minutes into flight, everything looking good. I thought it would shoot the I thought last time it... Yeah, the eight half minute mark, that's when we will receive the second engine cut off. And at that point, we'll be payload deployment. And just as a reminder, we uh, should only be able to see one of the two payloads deploy from this mission from our onboard upper stage camera. Did they say this could take 90 minutes? It's not supposed to do that, I don't think. Good view of Earth, though. Flat Earthers, how do you feel about that footage? That failed. Payload lost, I'm assuming. It's going a little right. Yeah, people are already saying, better luck next time, Astro. We had a nominal first stage flight. However, the upper stage engine did shut down early and we did not deliver our payloads to orbit. We will end the broadcast here and thank you for sticking with us today. I mean, how much lower can it go, right? Right, guys? <laughs> oh man, 